Finally, in 1986, space tourism made it onto the launch pad, when NASA put a civilian, high school teacher Krista McAuliffe, on the shuttle. Space travel for ordinary people had arrived. The problem was that when we went to launch Krista McAuliffe as a school teacher, as part of the early program of non-astronauts flying, you know, we killed her. The shock waves from the Challenger accident had an immediate impact. Commercial ventures were canceled. The dream of space tourism was over. But as a new chapter about to begin, space enthusiast and entrepreneur Peter Diamandis believes it is. My belief is that the future of man flight lies with entrepreneurs in particular, small commercial efforts, the furry mammals, if you would, amongst the dinosaurs. Because to open up space is risky business. It's huge financial risks and risk to life. I mean, this is the greatest frontier we've known. And governments can't take those risks anymore. It's got to be the entrepreneur, you know, the small corporation that says, damn it, I believe in this and I don't care. I'm going to take the risk because it's a risk worthwhile.